Welcome to Electra Online. Now we're starting a new series on mechanical engineering uh, where we talk about bodies or rigid bodies that are in equilibrium. So here's an example where you can have a structure that is solid. We have a, a mass hanging from it and it's connected to a post at A and B and of course there's going to be forces acting at A and B and there's going to be moments at A and B and we're trying to calculate those moments of a situation like this where everything is in equilibrium. So in general how do we do that? Well, we must understand that when things are in equilibrium so that there's no acceleration, there's no movement, typically we, there's no movement, but uh, we could say even more technically that there's no acceleration in, anywhere. We can then say that the sum of all the forces acting at any point, for example, point A or at point B, that those must add up to zero. All the forces acting at point B must add up to zero. All the moments at A must add up to zero. All the moments at B must add up to zero. In other words, we can find all the, the components of all the forces in the x direction, add them together, they should add up to zero. Add all the components of force in the y direction, they should add up to zero. And the same for all the components in the z direction. So that's how we're going to solve the problems. In the same way, we can also say that all the moments at any point add up to zero, which means any cross product between the position vector to where the force is acting from the point where you want to consider the moment times all the forces that act at those various points. When we add them all up in the x direction, the y direction, z direction, they must all add up to zero. Now, if we're given a moment or a force, how do we find the x, y, and z components? For example, if we have a force like this in three dimensions, here's the force F, we need to find the components in the x, the y, and the z direction, and we can do that by finding the direction cosines, alpha, beta, gamma, or then the angles, or I should say those are the, well, they are the angles, but they're also considered direction cosines. So if you want to find, for example, f sub x, that would be equal to direction cosine, which in this case would be alpha times the force f. And if that's how we find the magnitudes of the various components of a force. And of course, we do the same for the moments. If we get, if we're given a moment in any direction, we can find the moment, the x component, the y component, and the z component of the moment again by taking the moment and multiplying it by the direction cosines to get the individual components. And then we can go ahead, use these equations, add them all up, and then typically solve for the unknowns. So that's what we're going to do in this chapter, in this area of study for mechanical engineering. And it's a lot of fun. Sometimes a lot of equations, a lot of unknowns that we have to solve simultaneously, but we'll show you some examples of that. Also, we have to understand how things are making contact with the support beams or support walls and so forth. We need to understand how things are, are connected because sometimes we need to understand how the forces act at those particular points. Sometimes there's only a normal force perpendicular to the surface. Sometimes there's a duet or a triad of forces in three, two or three dimensions acting at a particular point. And we need to understand the difference there as well. So coming up are some videos to show you how to consider the forces where contacts are made. So stay tuned and we'll tell you all about how to do equilibrium studies on rigid bodies. That's how it's done.